Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And we are closer and closer to the Bank of Canada um, interest rates decision. And it's pretty, pretty huge what's about to happen. Um, market is expecting a 50 basis points cut for the Bank of Canada. Will they do that? And what will happen with the Canadian dollar? This is what we're gonna be looking at today's video. So make sure to stay with me until the end of this video that I will give it my trade idea based on the um, Bank of Canada interest rates decision. Before we start, guys, please subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. The majority of people that are watching us on the daily content on the webinars, it's not even subscribed to the channel. It won't hurt you, it won't, um, you know, cost you anything it's just literally one second as i'm speaking here you could be subscribing to the channel okay let's go as you've probably liked the video as you um subscribe to the channel let's move on and see what we can um, look at it um, to the bank of canada well first i want to like i would like to start with the us dollar cad let's understand how weak the canadian dollar air is at the moment okay I have the prices of um, USD CAD in front of me right now, and we can see that from the month of September, um, sorry, for the month of October that we are right now, uh, we had a huge up move all the way up to 1.3819, 1.3820. 1 Let's um, uh, be easier for us to do maths. From all the bottom of 1.35. 35, 1.35. So pretty much we've had an increase of 3,000 points, so 300 pips um, on USD CAD, okay? So this is showing to us how weak the Canadian dollar is. Of course, there is the oil prices that we've seen going down, all right, below the $80 at the moment. And we've seen as well on normal day-to-day -day life, okay? Like if you wanna go and fill up your car with oil, um, prices has come down. Right now in Sydney, I was, you know, a few, year, few, few months ago, I was paying 230, 240, and now I'm paying 160, 180. So there is a big reduction on the prices. And Canada is a really big hub of, of exportation, export of oil. So um, whatever happens on oil, Oil is the biggest product in the world. We all know that. You know, you can do gasoline with it. You can do energy. Um, you can have store of value as well on oil and etc. So um, Canada does have a big portion of exports toward the global wide um, for oil. Therefore, uh, we have oil going down. So Canada would have to sell more oil to actually be at a break-even point um, and it's pretty hard to refine oil and etc so a pretty complex um, situation but coming to a simple way petrol oil is going down therefore canada is canadian dollar is losing value with it as well now as i was saying the bank of canada is set to cut 50 basis points cut um, it's set to do a 50 base points cut and uh, it's set for tomorrow um, at midnight 45 okay so that's uh, tomorrow midnight 45 so in a few hours today um, midnight 45 um, the consensus is at 3.75 percent from the previous of 4.25 percent so that is a big big um, 50 base points it's a big um, portion of uh, of the rates now do they need or it's because they can the simple answer is because they can but the complex answer is because they need as well the the rate the interest rates has kept um, into sufficient levels higher sufficient levels for quarter already for a quarter already um, as of inflation from canada has been decreasing the month of a month the year over year as well as the core cpi the month of a month and the core cpi year over year the core CPI year over year is equal as the CPI year over year, and they are at the moment at 1.6%. As of the month of a month, both of them, the core CPI and the normal CPI, are negative. So, congratulations to Canada to become, you know, one of the first of the G10 group um, because we still have Australia, New Zealand, Japan. Well, not even Japan. Let's not count Japan, but um, USA, Europe. Um, UK um, and, and some others, they are 
actually with a higher than expected inflation. They are higher on the target. As of the Bank of Canada, as well as Switzerland, they are on target. They are below target of inflation. The target for inflation on the Bank of Canada, they are between 2 to 3%. Um, if you want to extend that, it would be from 1 to 3%. So they are in the middle range of the target inflation. That is pretty good uh, when it comes to you know, central bank can have much more um, widener, let's say, balance with the monetary policy. And it, this is exactly why they will cut a 50 base points because they can do higher increments. They can do bigger increments of cuts. And this, of course, will continue to weaken further the Canadian dollar. Therefore, giving more possibility of US dollar CAD continue to rise, New Zealand dollar CAD, uh, New Zealand dollar and Canadian dollar continue to grow. CAD JPY, Canadian dollar against the Japanese yen, continue to fall. So my trade here is pretty simple. I will be waiting eagerly for the monetary policy, for the rate decision, but most likely, and most important, the rate statement, okay? The rate statement will be released as well at midnight 45, and this is where we would have the gold of the rate decision. So I hope you will be awake because I know a lot of you are awake at this time and as well, you know, in other part of the world. So be ready because this will bring a lot of volatility towards the Canadian dollar. Guys, I hope this video could help you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give us a thumbs up. And now you know why, how and why to trade the Bank of Canada decision rate tonight. I see you in the next video or I see you tomorrow on the webinar. Don't forget we have a webinar from 5 to 6 p.m. on Thursdays as well. If you haven't registered yourself yet, the description in the description of this video, you will find the link to register yourself. Click in there, you will be re redirected to the ACY website and you can do your um, registration for free. We don't charge you anything. We don't ask you for credit cards. We only ask you for email and name so we can send you the link for the webinar on the day. Thank you so much. Have all a great day ahead. I see you in the next video or I see you tomorrow on the webinar. Bye-bye.